hello everyone so in previous video we have seen about the what is glue and we have understand like where actually we use a glue in this video we are continuing and uh, we will try to understand about the glue architecture we will try to learn what is a crawler what is a data catalog and how actually the glue works everything we are going to learn in this particular video okay so if we we'll talk about the uh, glue architecture okay the first thing is a uh, data store data store is nothing but where actually your data is reside okay after that the crawler comes into the picture and the data catalog comes into the picture so first let us try to understand what is crawler and all okay so what i will do so what is crawler suppose for taking an example suppose this is your data store okay suppose here actually your data is there as of now i can take a example suppose this is your s3 location okay and here we have one of the csv file okay and in this csv file we have a id name salary okay like this the column is available okay now what actually the crawler does is like crawl crawler does is like crawler will crawl all the data which is available into a s3 location okay so this is a crawler this is a crawler and then the after that the data catalog comes into the picture so under this data catalog so this is our data catalog okay here our the db db and the tables will be there okay so what is the use case of the crawler is like so first step is like to read the data which is available in s3 right so what crawler will do, do crawler will go to the s3 location and it will read this csv file okay it will read this csv file and it will create the schema and it will create the schema okay so automatically crawler will be able to know what actually this file contains he it will be able to know like the Uh, uh, csv file has a uh, id column name column and the salary it is nothing but uh, it will give you all your metadata information it will give the all the metadata information it will crawl all your s3 folder it can crawl the s3 folder also it can crawl the S csv file also so crawler will go to the s3 location it will crawl your uh, file and it will give the metadata information and in the data catalog right it will first we have to create one db okay first db will be there under this db one table will be created okay so for, the, uh, for how the table will be created okay for taking an example suppose you have one csv file right so for csv one file one table will be created suppose a second csv file is getting uh, crawled so csv two table will be created okay okay so what is the use case okay so for taking an example in first scenario in this csv file id name and salary was present okay now suppose you are the uh, file got updated and new column came okay new column came okay so how actually the crawler will be able to know the uh, new column got created and how this table will get updated okay suppose um, uh, country also come suppose the new new column country came okay new column country came so whenever your schema is getting modified in um, s3 location right so what actually we have to do we have to run this crawler again and crawler will run it will again go to the s3 location it will fetch all your data it will give you metadata information and this csv one table will get updated okay that is how actually it works okay we'll do a practical and we'll try to understand more about it but uh, i hope you got understanding about right crawler crawler is nothing but a crawler it will go to the your s3 location it will give a metadata information and one table will got created into a data catalog section and in this table actually we can do a query with the help of the athena and all okay we can use athena we can use redshift and we can use emr to run the query on top of it okay so that is the importance of the crawler okay so so in a glue architecture if you will see right so first step is like the data store and then the crawler comes into the picture and uh, and this crawler will go to the s3 location crawl all the data will, it will give the metadata information and under this data catalog right the table will get created under this uh, uh, table right we can do a query based on the athena and all okay and after that we perform a etl job okay so uh, suppose uh, we have created a table right 
so that table also we can use as a data source okay we will try to extract the data we'll perform some kind of the transformation there and finally we'll load into the final location okay that is how actually the glue works i hope you got idea thank you